Quantum computing stocks just went vertical after reports that the U.S. government wants an ownership stake in companies like IonQ, Rigetti, and D-Wave. The Trump administration is reportedly offering at least $10 million per company through the Commerce Department's CHIPS R&D office. But there's a little twist. Instead of grants, the U.S. will get equity, warrants, or royalties, turning Washington into a direct shareholder in the next generation tech. This follows the government's earlier move to convert $9 billion in Intel funding into a 10% stake, part of a broader strategy some called Industrial Capitalism 2.0. The logic? If taxpayers are funding critical industries, taxpayers should share in the upside. Behind all this chaos about quantum or actual real breakthroughs, Google's new Willow processor just hit verified quantum advantage, running simulations 13,000 times faster than the world's best computer. Together, public money, private capital, and scientific progress have ignited what analysts called quantum mania. This isn't a hype cycle anymore. It's a technological arms race. And for the first time, or second time, the US government wants a piece of the action.